The J-20 production line is humming along at a pace of over six aircraft per month. In just 11 months, the Chinese Air Force has added over 70 J-20 fighters, bringing the total fleet size to over 300 aircraft, making it the second largest fifth-generation fighter fleet in the world. However, as the production capacity of stealth fighters surges like a tidal wave, an intriguing phenomenon becomes increasingly evident. The J-16 production line at Xinyang Aircraft Corporation is also operating around the clock, delivering this fourth-and-a-half generation heavy fighter at a rate of 50 to 70 aircraft per year to the military. Behind this dual surge in production and demand lies the Chinese Air Force's clear understanding of the essence of modern air combat. Stealth fighters have changed the rules, but they have not eliminated the diverse demands of warfare. As an assassin in the realm of air combat, the J-20's design philosophy places stealth and supersonic crews at its core. While the internal weapons bay ensures stealth penetration capabilities, it also imposes an uncompromising physical boundary. The bay's length is strictly limited to approximately 4.5 meters. This directly determines the upper limit of its weapon compatibility, the currently most advanced PL-15 air-to-air -air missile, with a length of about 4 meters and a range exceeding 200 kilometers is already approaching the base capacity limit. However, battlefield dynamics are driving weapon systems toward larger sizes. China's underdevelopment PL-17 ultra-long-range missile is expected to exceed 400 kilometers in range, but at the cost of exceeding 6 meters in length, this aerial spear cannot be concealed within the J-20 stealth fuselage, leaving only the larger Wing-body integrated J-16 capable of carrying it into the skies. The same limitations are even more pronounced in anti-ship operations. The YJ-12 supersonic anti-ship missile, with its 6.3-meter long slender body and 75-centimeter diameter, has become a nightmare for aircraft carrier task forces. However, if it were forced to be externally mounted under the J-20's wings, it would not only completely destroy its stealth profile, but also the massive aerodynamic drag would consume its high-altitude, high-speed performance, which is essential for its effectiveness. In contrast, the J-16, with its optimized aerodynamic layout and robust airframe, can easily carry two to four YJ-12 missiles, transforming into a Sea Reaper capable of penetrating fleet air defense. This physical irreplaceability is the underlying logic behind the Chinese Air Force's strategy. The J-20, operates like a stealth assassin, focusing on targeting high-value enemy assets such as early warning aircraft and refueling aircraft, while the J-16 is the bomb truck of the battlefield, with 12 heavy load pylons capable of carrying 12 tons of munitions. From saturation strikes with 24 satellite-guided bombs to electromagnetic suppression with electronic warfare pods and air defense suppression with anti-radiation missiles, it forms the firepower foundation of the Chinese Air Force. This role differentiation is particularly critical in pre-designated battlefields such as the Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea. After the J-20 neutralizes enemy air defense nodes, it is the J-16, armed with heavy anti-ship missiles, that blocks shipping lanes and prevents foreign forces from reinforcing. The lessons learned by the U.S. military from the F-35 program validate this logic. The attempt to replace the F-15's ground attack role with a single fifth-generation fighter ultimately failed due to insufficient mission compatibility, forcing the restart of the F-15X production line. Modern warfare requires specialized division of labor, not the fantasy of a universal fighter. Modern warfare is not only a contest of technology but also a battle of industrial systems and costs. As a pinnacle of technological achievement, the J-20 incorporates cutting-edge processes such as 3D-printed titanium alloy frames and nanoscale stealth coatings, with a unit cost of approximately $110 million. In contrast, the J-16, a deeply modified version of the mature Su-27 platform, leverages a highly autonomous supply chain to keep unit costs around $60 million, a 45% reduction compared to the J-20. This cost disparity becomes even more pronounced during large-scale deployment, when the J-20's annual production capacity reaches 120 units. The J-16 maintains an annual output of 50 to 70 units. Operating in parallel, the two models form a strike group of 350 heavy fighters, far exceeding the J-20 in numbers. More importantly, deployment flexibility is crucial. The J-20 requires specialized stealth hangars, 
and a controlled environment for maintenance, while the J-16 utilizes the maintenance system of fourth-generation aircraft, enabling rapid deployment to forward-deployed airfields. This capability grants it strategic value in terms of replenishing losses and rapid response during wartime, as demonstrated on the Russia-Ukraine battlefield, when high-end equipment experiences reduced operational rates due to complex maintenance requirements. Reliable and durable platforms often become the backbone of the battlefield. Equipment advantages must be realized through human capability, and the training intensity of Chinese Air Force pilots is forming a key advantage. According to Jane's defense, the average annual flight hours for U.S. Air Force pilots plummeted from 232 hours in 2010 to 81.6 hours in 2021 and continued to decline due to budget pressures. In contrast, Chinese Air Force pilots flying advanced fighters like the J-16 and J-20 typically log over 230 hours annually, with top-tier pilots like Wang Wenchang setting a record of 5,290 total flight hours. This high-intensity training has fostered near-instinctive tactical proficiency in a CCTV broadcasted live fire exercise. J-20 pilots completed the entire process, from aerial refueling to shooting down the target in just 19 minutes reflecting the depth of their combat-oriented training. Even more noteworthy are the results of systematic training. U.S. Pacific Air Force Commander Wellsbach once revealed that the command and control system formed by the J-20 and KJ-500 demonstrated remarkable efficiency in combat exercises. This advantage of human-machine integration and system empowerment enables platforms like the J-16, even if technically inferior, to unleash unexpected combat power through exceptional tactical coordination. The retirement timeline for fighter jets is not solely determined by technological advancement, but by the dialectical relationship between mission suitability and cost effectiveness. As a top-tier air superiority fighter jet, the J-20 faces pressure from the iteration of sixth-generation aircraft, and its high maintenance costs may lead to early retirement, similar to the B-2 bomber. The J-16, however, which is tasked with medium to low intensity ground attack missions, has relatively stable technical requirements and could follow the example of the B 52 bomber by continuing to serve until the 2050s through engine upgrades and avionics modernization, especially with the emergence of new weapons like the PL 17. The J 16's role as a weapons testing platform is irreplaceable. The rear cockpit of the two seat J 16D, designed for an electronic warfare officer, even reserves a command node for future AI-assisted combat operations. This functional flexibility and upgrade potential are precisely what the J-20, which focuses on extreme air combat, cannot match. The Chinese Air Force's commitment to a dual-track approach fundamentally reflects a profound understanding of the interplay between technological iteration and the nature of warfare. The rapid expansion of the J-20 serves as the sharpest spear in the battle for air superiority, meanwhile. The continued deployment of the J-16 ensures overwhelming firepower projection and battlefield shaping capabilities within the airspace opened up by the spearhead. This strategic layout avoids falling into the trap of the U.S. military's all-purpose fighter approach while also sidestepping the vulnerability of the Russian military's over-reliance on a single platform. As sixth-generation aircraft streak across the sky, the J-20 of May seat its throne in air combat but multi-role fighters like the J-16, with their mission flexibility and cost advantages, may endure in the Chinese Air Force lineup for the long term. The truth proven by the B-52's 70-year service history is now being reinterpreted by Eastern strategic wisdom. In the iron laws of war, adaptability always holds more vitality than advanced technology.